second grade. This is our last science lab for the school year. I thought we would end on something really fun that we would do in the classroom, but we're not gonna be able to do it in the classroom. So if your mom was able to get to the store and get the materials that were on the list, I'll go over them and you can do it with me at home and follow along on this video. If you don't have the materials, you can still get out your lab book page and we will do it together and you can record the results. Uh -huh. So what you're going to need are four different kinds of cookies. For the great cookie dunk scientific experiment, I am using vanilla wafers, Chips Ahoy cookies, Nutter Butters, and Oreos. You're also going to need some milk. You're going to need four glasses. You can fill them about halfway. And then you're going to need to take out each of the different kinds of cookies and lay them out in front so you can make and record some observations. On your lab book page, you will notice that there is a question. We always have a driving question. Do cookies sink or float in milk? So let's do some observations on our lab book page. First of all, vanilla wafers. When you pick one up, what do you notice about it? What is the size? What does it smell like? What does it feel like? Take a close look and inspect it. What do you notice? Write your observations down on your lab page. Next, we're going to look at the Chips Ahoy cookie. Again, you're gonna use your senses and record any observations that you make as you look at your chocolate chip cookie. Now we're going to look at the Nutter Butter cookie. What do you notice about this cookie? How does it look? Inspect it closely. How does it smell? How does it feel? And finally, your Oreo cookie. Make your observations by looking, smelling, and touching. Now we're going to make a prediction. On your lab book page, after you recorded all of the things you've observed about your cookies, you're gonna make a prediction as to whether you think it will sink or float. So you're gonna write that word on each one on the box. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put each cookie into your glass of milk. Let's make some observations. What happened with the vanilla wafer? What happened with the chocolate chip cookie? What happened with the Nutter Butter? And what happened with the Oreo? Record your answers on your lab book page, whether they sank or floated. It's a good thing to, to test it, too. This is for scientific experimentation only. Oh, very good. Mm. On the second page, you're going to draw your results. So now you're going to draw in each of your cookies in the glass of milk. And you're going to write your conclusion. Now we're going to have to take into consideration some of the things about the cookies, such as vanilla wafers kind of have a lot of little holes in them. So maybe that makes them much lighter and able to float. Where more like our chocolate chip cookie and our nutter butter were much heavier and denser and they were able to sink right to the bottom. I think this would have sank all the way if my cup would have been big enough. Another thing that may influence whether they sink or float is whether there is filling in the middle. 
the Nutter Butter and the Oreos. Well, we have one that sank and one that floated. So maybe that's not what causes a chocolate chip to sink or float. So draw a conclusion what you think will happen with each of these cookies based on your observations of each of these cookies. Well, second grade, that was our last lab for the year. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned some things. Science can be a lot of fun. We have to be careful and use precaution. You have to ask lots of questions and test your theory. I hope you learned a lot in science this year and I hope you'll enjoy doing your labs with me. Well, second grade, that's all for now. I'm gonna run, bye. You're eating the cookies, so you know if your hypothesis is correct. Mm. Oh, that one's very mushy.